guys, Zuljan here. Welcome back to another episode of Rand. So my crossbows just broke while I was in the process of upgrading them. I just got the materials for Skyfall crossbows. Now that I have Skyfall iron, uh, strong fibers, old news, heavy leather is pretty much any skinning from any tier 3 animal. And Visitar is the product of caustic resin and tar berries, which are both harvested in the swamp. Caustic resin comes from... Uh, right-clicking on thornwood trees, um, and it's like the sap for the thornwood trees. And then the visit tar, uh, I mean the tar berries naturally comes from uh, the tar berries, <laughs> bushes that you can find in the swamp. Anyway, we're gonna make our first Skyfall crossbow here, and let's see what we got. 31.5. I mean, it's, it's not, <laughs> it's not all that, but we can go ahead and get into Adept Skyfall crossbows now. And we need to make another one, and we'll need Ravener Claws for this, which we have, but we're going to go hunting for them anyway. Let's see, Missing Resources, Ravener Claws. So I'm pretty sure I got some. We're going to go over, yep, we got some. We're going to go over to Scarsire today, and that is the Acid Biome, or the Wastes, uh, to get those. But I thought we would go with a different kind of arsenal. It would be good. We need cat pelts for this one. Okay. I guess we need one more. We need more Skyfall iron, which I think we have quite a bit more, which is good. Skyfall iron. What the hell is going on outside? They got a wolf probably outside. This is divine. So we, we don't have the tier 4 tools to be able to get this yet. Um, but it's nice that it's unlocked now. Let's make this one. Then we'll need cat pelts. I believe I have cat pelts in one of these boxes. Verdant fur, matted. I wish there was a search function. <laughs> I really wish there was a search function. We might need to get some cat pelts, you guys. Might need to get a little bit of cat pelts. We can hunt for those as we go. I got some bows to use, so it should be fine. Because I used quite a bit of them, probably. Verdant fur. Yeah, we got a few cat pelts. Okay, okay. Hold up. Crossbows. Boom. What's next? Turtle hearts? We got some of those, too. Holy crap. If we can get away with this. Missing resource. All we need is turtle hearts. You gotta be kidding me. We got some of them, man. Turtle hearts. That's not actually that hard to get. Those are available in the swamp pretty early on. Uh, crossbows. Oh, baby. All right, so these came out master Skyfall crossbows. They're getting better. So we need to... I think we need to make another... Um, <laughs> we need to make another one of these tables, except we need to put a better weapon attachment enchantment on it, enhancement on it. Because man, we could be getting um, we could be getting some bonuses here. Let's just make one more. Yeah, it looks like they're all popping out with about the same deal. 66 damage is crazy. 66.5 damage. Let's take that one, and we'll take a um, well. Let's take one. Let's make one more. How'd that make out? 62, 62, 62. Nope, we're out. Skyfall iron. Okay, it takes more Skyfall iron, so that's probably going to be good enough, you guys. Um, I am going to bear with me here because we might be doing some fun stuff later with um, with the reckoning and stuff. I'm going to look into getting some of that. So right now, the journeyman stuff, we're going to save quite a bit of this because we might just need some. Uh, the 46.9s are too low. The 39s are too low. The 31 is really low. These are all in the 60s, and these are all in the 50s. That's a 10-point damage difference, though. Honestly, I think we might dump these, too. All right. So, yeah, this will be pretty good right here. Let's drop everything but these two. So we got a 62.3 and a 66.5. Let's go ahead and throw these old ones away because they aren't even close to as good. Yeah, they were only 31. So I'm going to be doing roughly double damage. 
So let's see here. I have... Which one is which? That's the thing. 66.5. I'm going to choose Iron Bolts. And... I don't know if it's going to show me. This is 12. Okay, we'll see. It's only a 12-round clip, but let's see how much it does. Oh, my goodness. That's pretty strong. <laughs> that is really freaking strong. Let's switch up. Oh, my God. Okay, this is like 140, 150. Yeah, so the left side is the big one. And I got deep wounds. Oh, by the way, I leveled up enough to get this really, really cool ability. <sighs> Check this out. It's called Cleanse. So if we go into my talents, you'll see that I leveled up Pathfinder in order to get... This, well, we got Bonfire too, but Cleanse I just unlocked. And this is instantly remove all poisons, diseases, and wound effects. Guys, I can't even tell you how incredible this is. Like, after just a cooldown, like it's halfway cooldown already. It's, it's, it's amazing. Like, being able to get rid of that poison and stuff, I am much, much happier with. The bad news is the Scar Sire really doesn't have poison and anything that Cleanse can help with, but it's easier, I think it's easier to traverse, aside from the acid pools that insta-kill you. But that's where I'm going to head right now, you guys. I'll meet y'all there. All right, guys. Here we are at the Scar Sire. This is the Wastes. And I got to tell you, compared to the Dread Veil, this place ain't that bad. So the acid puddles really suck. I'll show you those in just a second. What makes this place a little bit easier to deal with, I think, are these things right here, what I'm on, these like platforms. So if I need to harvest something, for instance, um, I can shoot everything around it without them wearing, like I can kill that guy from here. Like I can just shoot him and lure him and he won't be able to get away. There's a drac down there and that is a ravener. Right there. That is a Ravener. So let's go ahead and give him a little taste. Oh, this crossbow is sick. <laughs> oh, that's bananas. Um, if I hit three crits like that, that's like 750 damage. That's that's pretty stupid. Let's hit this V-Raptor. God dang. Even 450 is not that bad. 450 to 750, I'll take that. Just imagine if that was like a Dungeons and Dragons dice roll, you know? I never harvested a D-Raptor yet, so I might as well. And Ravener teeth are pretty hard to get. I got a ton of them um, yesterday, but let's see what I get from this guy. Venom sacks, Raptor thigh cutlets, Venom nectar, heavy le leather, and... Uh, Raptor Trophy Heads. Okay. And this guy, we get Ravener Claws, Lean Meat, Ravener Livers, Prime Lean Meat, and Sparks of Adventuring. And, of course, you can get a couple of other Ravener deals, too. All right. So, a couple of resources that are available here. We've got this stuff, which is Sage Lichen. It also gives you some Angel Braid and, actually, some Mysticism. Uh, we could do a little bit of hammer time on this stuff and get burnt ruby geodes, granite slabs, and pumice. The burnt ruby geodes, I believe, are from uh, my skills, I think. Disturbing silence. Your sound will not go unnoticed. Oh, I see. I'm making noise is basically what they're telling me. Huh? Is that what's happening here? <laughs> All right. Let's go in a little bit further. Now, this is probably going to clog up my inventory, but I will show you guys anyway. Oh, my God. So, somebody said something about a corrosive acid pool that's invisible. 
and that was it. <laughs> that was that was it. Well, at least you see what corrosive acid does. I'll show you the pools when we come back, you guys. All right, we made it back. Let's see if we can retrieve our body without getting melted by acid. Also, I don't know what's going on, but I have all of my armor still. <laughs> I always have all of my tools. Um, and I also kept my weapon that was equipped on me. Which doesn't seem like much, because honestly, if I take this away and I hit my weapon... Oh, I actually have 12 bolts in the clip loaded. Well, that's really interesting. Huh. Go figure. Okay, there's a goat right there on my left. I think. Let's see. You see how you can't see the acid? There's clearly acid there, though. Okay. Not too close. Corpse of Zul'jin. Take all. Beautiful. We're back. We're back. All of those souls? Screw them. Don't need them. <laughs> I do not need them. All right. Um, oh my god, we got all these Freya's things. Okay, we really need to get rid of uh, this stuff for sure. At least to get some inventory space up. Okay. Get rid of all this stuff. Alright, it's also a little bit later than it was last time. We're gonna try to avoid this acid stuff and go around another way here. So yeah, when I harvested that plant though, I got durian barbs, which durian is a type of fruit. I think it's a very bad type of fruit, like not people, not many people like them. Let's go ahead and salvage this and we get ruby shards. I think you could get burnt ruby shards as well. There's a few different things we can get from here, but look at the way that this is set up. So this guy can't really get to me without coming all the way down. You would think he could just jump right off the edge, but he doesn't. See how he had to come all the way? Yeah, I didn't want him to knock me in that acid or whatever. Okay, let's get rid of bloody stench. Let's get rid of the stench and the meat. Raptor thigh cutlet. Don't need it, man. Don't need it. Prime lean meat. Look at all the poop we got. Okay. We good now. These guys can give goat horns as well, I believe. Charges shoulders, goat hooves. Okay. None of that, then. Let's get rid of all of this stuff. Um, there's two different kinds. Sage lichen. Okay. We know about that. So there's two different kinds of... Uh, there's the Ravener Claws. There's two different kinds of those... Those goats. There's some that we've saw earlier around the biomes that I live. And then there's a bigger kind. There's also some ore nodes over there too. Okay. Let's take a look at which is which again. 66.5. Also, the durability score max is higher on that good one. I like that, man. I like that a lot. Let's make sure this goes all the way to the top so I know what's going on. We'll put this in here too to where we can eat and drink. I think we're pretty much good. Skoger fruit? Yeah, I'll eat some. Why not? Let's eat some. All right, and we're going to put our, um, uh, what do you call that stuff? That root that we use to run. I don't know where it's at anymore. Dang it, man. <laughs> All right, to heck with it. We'll be fine. We can always mushroom out. All right, so that's a Ravener. God dang. Did I just crit for 474? Hello! <laughs> That's amazing. Alright. I'm pretty sure I can start right clicking now for the leather. Granite slabs. More Ravener claws. We can get granite almost anywhere though. Beautiful. These weigh 10 of Oh, okay. They're trophies. I see what's going on now. Let's get the hardwood sticks out of here. The sticky sap. All right. Now we're into mostly good stuff here. Mostly good stuff. 
Did I have three crossbows on me? 66, 62, 60. Yeah, I did have three. Okay, fair enough. All right. So there was that ore node that we saw just a second ago. I know it's musty, guys. It's rough. Okay, that's new. That's new right there. What is that over there? Festering Rotine. We know what that looks like, too. That's one of those rat things. I know you guys can barely see him. Trust me, I could barely see him, too. It's like a fog that's over this place. Okay. Is this a... Oh, hell yeah. Sulfuric cores. Looks like there's some things sticking out of the acid pools, too. Ugh. Ugh. <sighs> Sulfuric cores. Okay. Very good. Uh, what are we trying to get rid of here? This stuff? Bloody backpack. I don't know what's making me bloody here. You think the raptor's heads are? Venom sacks? I don't know. Raptor claws? There's a bunch of stuff that's probably... It could be the blood, too. I don't think the blood does it. It's fine. We got a bloody backpack. That all there is. That's all there is to it. All right. See that goat down there? I think that's a different looking one. I'm not too sure. There are two D-Raptors right there. Dude, that acid freaks me out. I'm overheating. Am I losing... Reduces your stamina and recharge rate. Increase your hydration drain rate and the damage you take from dehydration. So I'm dehydrating, but I'm not taking excess damage due to my armor. Okay, we're all right with that. We are okay with that. Can I get some more of these cores or whatever? Those aren't really close. Uh oh. Oh, <gasps> look at that! That's a that's a metal node, babe. Ooh, baby. Yes. <laughs> Look at the skyfall iron ore and quicksilver. Very nice. I'll take that, babe. I'll take it. What are these? I know what that is. Hi. 750 in your face. 54 levels in crossbows. Unbelievable. Is that skill leveled, leveled up? I don't remember if I took it or not. Skills, crossbows. I, I didn't. Your target shots reduce the target's movement speed by 5% per hit, stacking three times. No. When you hit a target, increase your armor by 10% for five seconds. Critical hits grant double bonus. I think... <sighs> For kiting, this would be better. I think for taking hits, this would be better. Crippling hits. It's done. I took crippling hits. That's to reduce movement speed. Also, what is this stuff? Oh, uh, skull gourds, mulch, and angel braids. And also a lot of that Freya's crap. All right, now that that's out the way. Frames are slowing down right here, too. It looks like particle effects. Like the snow mist was doing this in the cold biome for me. And now this foggy particle stuff is doing the same thing. I think I have some company up top. Ooh, there's a drop over there. Hell yeah. Where? Where's the bad guys? Oh, here they go. Ooh, there's a lot of them. Dang it! Dang it, dang it, dang it! Ah, oh, crap. All right, we're approaching the biome again. This time, it didn't let us keep our armor, unfortunately. Uh-oh, we got probs. No, slow down. Oh my gosh. Not that bad. 
<laughs> I've killed birds before with drops like that. Okay, I think that was my original body. Or is that just further in? Let's see, it's nighttime. That looks like where my original corpse was at. That's where my other one's at. Okay, fair enough. I have other shrooms, so I should be fine. Honestly. Let's go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's acid. Careful. Careful, Zeke. Careful. Okay. Take all. Blistering hot. Let's get out. Other shroom. Just in case. Just in case. All right. We back up. Um, how do we get out? 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 Let's equip. It's only one of them, right? I don't even know if that's my good one. 62, 62. That is not my good one. 66. <laughs> Much better, man. Much better. Okay. Okay. That's a significant difference when you think about it. All right. I mean, honestly, guys, I think... <laughs> I don't know why I would explore much deeper now that I got my body back. I mean, granted, there's probably other creatures. I want to go a little bit deeper. But I'm scared. I'm really scared. Being that it's nighttime, it really sucks. Okay, so the tree being right there, that means I can get out going this way. I like how it's like half and half right here. It's actually not that bad. As long as you stay up top on these things, it really isn't too difficult because you can really you can really mitigate what you go through combat with, you know? Like look at this guy right here. No danger whatsoever of fighting him. You know? No danger whatsoever. But I got to say, it's a creepy biome. I think Dreadfail has it beat for overall difficulty. Oh, baby. Rockjaw. Man. That would be a cool tame. That would be a really cool tame. I think that's what I'd like to look at next time. Come on, baby. And... Poof. <laughs> Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> Oh, that's epic, dude. Okay, you still get the same thing from him. Turtle stuff. Plenty of chitin, too, which chitin is good to get. Not that bad. Scar Sire. I wouldn't say we conquered you, but this was a pretty good exercise and stuff. Um, aside from that, I think it's much easier to harvest from mysticism sparks in the Dread Veil because there's so many mushrooms and stuff. But over here for rocks though, man, this I think is where it's at. Look at all the granite and pumice they have. I can probably get quite a few sparks over here. Yeah, absolutely, man. Already 39 sparks. Plenty of stuff for base upgrades too, man, with all of the granite. Burnt Ruby Geodes. I think I'm filling up already. Holy crap. These weigh a hundred a piece? <whistles> so a bunch of people were asking about our rates. Right now, our gather rates are times four. Meaning that everything you see me get, I'm getting four times as much. Except for Freya's Boon, because that stuff's broken. The botany perk or whatever. But, yeah. That's where it's at right now. Look all of the barrels down there. That was just from me throwing stuff down and the Freya's boons and stuff. Man. 
Well, that's Scoresire, you guys. That is Scoresire. I hope you all really enjoyed the video. I'm going to get back to base, see if I can make any improvements on my current situation. I'd like to get some Reckoning content done really, really soon with the guys. I'm going to talk it over with them and see what we could do. Also, I'd really like to get into some more taming, uh, but a lot of that's going to be collab vids. So if the next few days of the content's kind of sporadic, it's just because I'm trying to line stuff up. But I really hope you all enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, give me some dap on that like button to show you support, and you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ulian signing off, and we'll see you next time.